Hey everyone, it's Juan here from Xbox 360. For some reason I completely missed out on a firmware update that came through for a 2016 Samsung G360. So thank you for um, Kenda Cat on YouTube um, who posted a comment reminding me uh, that a firmware actually came through. Yeah, so thank you for that reminder. So that's why I'm just posting this video up. The reason why I missed it is because I've been using the old G360 Manager app and I've been getting a fair bit of false um, false positive on on that version of the app of telling me that it's a new firmware even though there isn't so I actually have been ignoring it um, so again thank you for Kenda Cat for pointing it out to me um, for me to have a look at the new update and see what the new firmware holds okay so this will be a really quick video there's actually not much to talk about with this firmware update um, it's actually really boring actually. So the latest firmware for, um, is for the 2016 Samsung G360 um, and the firmware is C200GLU0AQC1 which is replacing the previous C200GLU0API1. It is a 315 megabyte download. So there's only three three main items. So it's actually not a lot have changed in this firmware. So I'm not really um, know if it's necessary to for you to update or not um, because sometimes when things are working it's better to keep it as it is but um, I'll just quickly run through it there um, it's saying that it, it changed the auto turn off time from three minutes to five minutes as a default um, so that's a really minor thing the Bluetooth pairing has been modified to improve security so that may be important to you but what's the worst case someone might steal some of your photos um, I suppose depending on what type of photos you're doing um, and finally, the key 360 is only visible if you set it into pairing mode so that the key 360 is not permanently uh, available as broadcast for someone to connect to. Um, so it really doesn't sound like there's much change at all. Uh, and in fact, I actually had a play with it already um, for the probably past day or so. Um, there's, I haven't noticed any changes, hasn't, I haven't noticed any improvement or anything that's um, gone backwards. So, I mean, it's not a big deal if you do update. Um, I've reconnected to the app, no problem, and it's all seems to be fine. Um, there have been a few people online or who have spoken to me about it, asking me if I'm having issues because they can't reconnect to the camera. Uh, they can't seem to reconnect to the camera as easily as before. And of course, for those of you who who are using the binary version of the E360 Manager app, which is the non-official Samsung app, which will run on non-Samsung phones, um, I don't actually currently have a phone that can run that app and connect to the phone. I don't have uh, another Android phone that's fast enough. I don't know whether this will actually make that app no longer work. So if it's working for you at the moment, and since the firmware update actually doesn't really improve that much, I probably would recommend you to just hold off unless you're game and, and you want to update and see how it goes. Um, and if you do, please come in and let everyone on this channel know. Uh, whether it still works or not because I think a lot of other people would find that information extremely handy yeah so so I suppose that's basically it. it's really really short um, nothing exciting here to see I just thought I'll, I'll have an update because people are asking me about the new firmware update so I suppose the news is that nothing exciting is happening um, the, up, the update worked if you want to update um, but I don't think it's a big drama if you don't. If you're happy with the way that things are working at the moment and if you're using a non-Samsung phone and using the binary version of Key 360 Manager app, um, you may just want to hold out on this uh, update to the camera. And for those who have updated the firmware, please note that like previous firmware update, it does reset all your settings in the camera. So make sure you go back and change to whatever settings you have changed. And the main one being that somehow, for whatever reason, the default is only at 2K resolution for video recording. So you may want to change that back up to 4K. So as usual, please pop me a message or any questions that you may have about the Gear 360 or any other 360 or VR related uh, content and information and please subscribe to my channel for more information about 360 and VR. So it's Warren here from Overexposed 360 and I'll catch you on the next video.